Okay guys, we're starting off where we left uh, last time. Good thing it saved. So, it's, uh, we're at the part where uh, we think the lights went out and something really crazy happened, so... Let's continue, because I'm excited to find out what happens. Okay, I'm gonna just, like, repeat what happened last time. So, we can all, like, you know, Hey, this happened, you know? Okay. What the? Oh, great. That crazy DJ must have stolen my lights. I can't see a thing in here. What? Is she having a concert now? Wait, Ponyville? I must have been tired. How do I remember getting in bed this morning? Hmm, I don't see any pony. <laughs> Hello, who's there? It doesn't seem like there are any other ponies around. Hello, can any pony hear me? Any pony? Okay, that time I know I heard it. That crying. Where's it coming from? This isn't a funny. This isn't funny anymore. Shaky screen. Dude, I'm getting so many goosebumps right now. This is scary. <laughs> this is creepy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it ringing so fast? Oh, fuck. Who's there? What is going on? I feel strange. Dot dot dot. That's fucking creepy. That's fucking creepy. Getting boost goosebumps everywhere. No, stay away. Sorry, I'm trying not to yell as loud because, you know, I'm just trying to answer the fact though. Dude, this is creepy. It's fucking creepy. It's getting closer. <laughs> Stay away. I don't need you in my life. Just Stay away. No, get away from me. It's gonna pop up right in front of me, isn't it? Huh. Where did it go? Dot dot dot. It's not real. It's a dream. Right? Ah! Ah! So scary! It actually made my heart go a little. Okay. Scene 4. Magical Obsession. Ooh. What a way to start off an episode, guys. I'm ready to play this game. <laughs> Heavy breathing. What? Why are you screaming? Why not? You were doing it. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it looked like fun. Fun? It was definitely not fun. It felt real. Oh, did you have a nightmare? <laughs> Scoot a bit closer. I'll keep you safe. Huh? <laughs> You're harassing me. Maybe, but you do sleep kind of rough. You kept saying stuff in your sleep, too. Couldn't make it out, though. It was all bubbled and disjointed. Wait, I was doing what? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. But you probably should get that checked out. Might be some kind of sleep disorder. Hey, you know, you've got a nasty bump on your forehead. A bump? What are you... Ow! How did that get there? Well, thanks for giving me a place to sleep. I'll probably see you around town sometime. Unless you want me to stay and keep the boogie pony away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> ha ha. I'll be fine. It's just nightmares. They can't actually hurt you. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit the shower. See you around if no scratch. Call me vinyl. I'll be looking forward to our next encounter. Vinyl, okay. Don't hit on me, vinyl. Okay. <sighs> She thinks I'm sexy. Okay, time to hit the shower and see if I have some painkillers. That bump really hurts. Yeah, that bump really hurts, guys. Oh, my forehead. Uh, uh, okay, I'm done with the shower and stuff. 
That's like a warm shower in the morning. Rarity said she had work for me. I should head over to see. Uh, I should head over to see if she, if I can get any any bits. Uh, I just woke up. Sorry, guys. Being a model shouldn't be that bad. Oh, I bet it is. Unless that doggy guy didn't kill her first. Bright and sunny today. Do the Pegasi in this town ever change the weather? There's a Pegasus. Maybe she can tell me what's going on with the weather. Ugh, sorry, hiccups. Excuse me, is there is there a problem with the weather in this town? I, I've noticed it never changes. I have to take into account Thunder Lane's vacation time. Flitter took the day off, so I'll have to take her shift. I need to get the rain clouds ready and I've got it. Oh, did you say something? She's really quiet. Sorry if you guys can't hear her. <laughs> yeah, just wondering why the weather is never here never changes. Oh yeah. About that, it does change. We're just having management problems. That and every pony decided to take their vacation at the same time, and our manager approved it. So I've been doing most of their work. Well, all of it actually. But it's okay. I can handle it. You seem a bit stressed. Maybe you should take a day off? I will, as soon as everyone else gets back. I can't really do that now. There's only a few weather ponies working in Ponyville right now. Everyone else is on vacation or out sick. That sounds like a pretty tough job. Yeah, it can be, but I can handle it. No big deal. Hey, you're new in town, right? I'm Cloud Chaser, by the way. Yeah, hasn't been. Yeah, I haven't been here for too long. Awesome. Welcome to Ponyville. I've got to get going, but I'll see you around, okay? Okay, see you around, Cloud Chaser. Da, da, da. Hey, you notice that? Notice what? The wind has been acting strange lately. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. Later! But f that doesn't mean it's nothing. That means it's something. I'm afraid of that wind now. I'm chasing now to quickness. Yeah! She's an she acquaintance now. We're all happy. Cause she, da, da, da. Oh, no. Well... That explains the weather in this town, I think. What was I going to do again? Whoops, I better hurry up to Rarities. Rarities are rarity, gotta go to Rarities, gonna go to Rarities. Oh no, she's not here. Oh no. Hey Rarity, you said you said you needed some help? Dot dot dot. Huh, where is she? Who are you? Who said that? Down here. Who are you? Spike! I came to help Rarity. She said she needed some help with her, some outfits. Uh-huh, like the story. How do I know you're not here to steal Rarity? I'm just here to help. You're not that bright, are you? Look, I'm just here to help out. I work for Rarity occasionally. She said that she needed help, some help today. Well, you don't look like a bad stallion. Okay, I guess I believe you. You're Spike, right? Oh, so you've heard of me. Yeah, I'm a pretty big deal around Ponyville. Rarity mentioned you gave her the fire ruby. Yeah, I was going to eat it, but it looks better on her. There you are! Rarity! I was wondering where my little spiky wikey had run off to. <laughs> oh, you've come to help me. It's so good to see you again. I have a week or two to get those outfits made, but there's no harm in starting early. Spike, thank you so much for helping me today. You're just so cute! I could still use your help, but I won't keep you. I know Twilight needs you at the library. Now wait just a moment and I'll get the outfits. I hope I meet Twilight soon. Come on. Hey bro, do me a solid? You shouldn't, you've used the power of the solid. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, I know, but listen. I'm supposed to go help Twilight at the library. But Rarity still needs me here. And I don't really want to leave yet. I mean, who would want to leave? Rarity's so beautiful and smart and just amazing. Anyways, do me a solid. Twilight needs my help in the library, but if you wouldn't to help her, I could stay here with Rarity. I got you, bro. And pass up getting paid? I kind of need the money. Oh, this is a hard decision, guys. This is a hard decision. I want to meet Twilight, but I also want to get money. <sighs> and I don't want to lose Rarity's respect. <sighs> Fuck. Um. I think... Shit, bitch, four, fuck, ass. Three. I got you, bro. I, I want to meet Twilight, guys. I want to meet Twilight. Don't worry, Spike. I'll help you out. Thanks, 
thank you. I owe you one. I won't forget it. I'll pay you when I get back to the library. Sweet. I really appreciate it. Just head over to the library. It's right down the street in the big tree. You practically can't miss it. Any idea what she needs help with? Probably just sorting some books or making a checklist. I don't really know, but I'm sure you can handle it. Alright, Spike. I'll see what she needs. I hope Rarity doesn't get mad at me. I just really want to meet Twilight. Oh, look, there it is. Hmm. Where did Spike say the library was? Gah. I'm bad with directions. Maybe I should ask somebody. Excuse me, could you point me to the direction of the library? The library? You just head down the street and take a left. It'll be right in front of you. A big treehouse. Every pony in town knows that. You must not be from around here. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> That's okay. I love meeting new ponies. I'm Rose Luck. What's your name? I'm... Okay, every time I go to tell some pony my name, something crazy happens. Just call me the... Just call me new pony for now. <laughs> that tends to happen here a lot. Oh no, look at the time. I really need to tend to my roses. I'll see you around, new pony. Sure thing. Thanks again, Rose Luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm at Rose Luck. I'm at Rosa. Hey, look, it's a big tree house. Oh my gosh, it's a ah, ah. Doesn't look like any library I've ever seen, but it does match the description Spike gave me. Walks in. Good to see Twilight Sparkle. Hello? Hi there. Twilight Sparkle at the Ponyville Library. Is there a particular book you're interested in? Are you Twilight Sparkle? Yes, I am. Why? Spike asked me to come over here. <laughs> Spike asked me to come over and help you today. He bribed you, didn't he? Not exactly. I should have known better than to send him over to Rarities on a day where I needed his help. Well, at least he sent some pony to help me. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Yeah, I know. Which I guess you already knew. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Are you from around here? Not originally. I grew up on a farm. So you're from a farm. I've spent some time on a farm. Sweet Apple Acres? Uh-huh. So you're new to Ponyville then? Yeah, still learning my way around then. <laughs> so, still, but yeah, you guys know. You guys can read. That's terrific. Fuck that. <laughs> I remember when I first came to Ponyville. <laughs> I thought every pony in this town was crazy. You don't say. I know it can seem that way, but they all mean well. I felt so out of place when I first came here, and it didn't help when that whole Nightmare Moon thing happened. But in the end, it all worked out, and here I am, happy to call myself a resident of Ponyville. So, you were the one that handled the Nightmare Moon's return? Not just me. I had help from my friends, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, and Fluttershy. Together, we formed the Elements of Harmony and Vanquished Nightmare Moon. I want to be Fluttershy! I think I've met pretty much all, the, all of those ponies. Are they, are they, uh, are they friends of yours? No duh, no duh, me. I haven't met Fluttershy though. Yep, they're my best friends. They're just the best group of friends any pony could ask for. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll make friends here in Ponyville. There is a bit of a trick to it though. You have to know how to treat every pony in town. Some of them only respond to kindness. Others like a little teasing. Once you figure that out, I'm sure you'll make all sorts of friends. Have you made any friends in town? Friendship is magic after all. I would know. I've been studying it under Princess Celestia. Well, I've made a few. I made friends with a mare named Derpy. And I met a mare named F Flor, de Flor, de Flor de Lis. She's new in town, like me. Derpy? She's really nice. <laughs> she comes in all the time. Next time you see her, could you let her know her book arrived? Sure thing. What's the book? What's the name of the book? Non-locality, hidden variables, and quantum entanglement. The Expert's Guide, Volume Three. What the fuck? Hmm. Um. Why is it in another language? Just tell her that her book has arrived. She'll know what it means. Will do. Anyways, you want to get started? Sure. What exactly do you need? Just need to reorganize some books. Any questions? How are we organizing the books? How many books are we organizing? All of them. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I think I'm ready to get started. Okay. Let's start by taking these books down. Then we can set them in a neat, organized pile over here. After that, we can start putting them back. In order, of course. 
I get the feeling this mare isn't exactly the life of the life of the party. Let's get to it. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Whoops. You got that one in the wrong spot. Here, let me show you. Yeah, learning how to organize books like a boss. It's what we do. It's what we. Well, it's what we live for. Da da da. Fade in. <coughs> hey, are you okay? What happened? That entire row was all out of order. Sheesh, Twilight. I thought you were dying for a moment there. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck, Twilight? So organized. Dot dot dot. Organizing, organizing. Organizing, organizing. Fading from the organizing. Good job. Um. <laughs> Silly me. I was so annoyed with Spike, I forgot to ask your name. It's. I don't know. Hello, everyone. I'm back. How's it going, Twilight? Spike! There you are. Have fun helping Rarity? Yeah, it was tons of fun. I got paid in hugs. It was pretty awesome. Looks like not only am I your number one assistant, but Rarity's too. Oh, your number one, huh? Well, how about number one go over there and organize that bookshelf like he told me he'd do? Oh, whoops. I guess I've kind of forgot about that one. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Psst. Hey, you got it. A promise is a promise. Here you go. My entire week's allowance. Entire. <laughs> Fucking bits. <laughs> well, Spike, that's your entire week's allowance? Yep. I know it's a lot for such a short amount of time spent working, but hey, I'm a generous guy. Okay. Thanks. Spike is now an acquaintance. He is now an acquaintance. He's an acquaintance. Yeah. He's an acquaintance. Hey, are you heading into town? Yeah, probably. I'm on my way there, too. Maybe we could walk together? Sure. The library has been added to your map. Yeah, I'm so cool. Now we're walking with Twilight. Where, where are we going? Where are we going, oh, Twilight? What are you looking for in town? Work. I still need to furnish my home. Gonna need some more bits to pull that off. Work? Huh. I'm sure there's plenty of that around. Ponies here always need a helping hug. Yeah, I've noticed that. I've noticed there's. Blah, blah, I've noticed there's all sorts of odd jobs to do around here. There are quite a few of those. In Ponyville, you never know what's going to happen. So, you've been working little odd jobs since you came here? Yeah, working on a farm prepares you for just about anything. Hmm, good point. I never thought of it that way. Guess that makes you a fairly adaptable pony. Is that what your cutie mark represents? Adaptability? I don't really know. Maybe? I don't even know what my cutie mark is. What? You mean you don't know what your cutie mark means? Well, hmm, what were you doing when you earned it? I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. No big deal. Don't worry about it. So what are you looking for in town? Just picking up some ingredients for dinner tonight. I want to know what my cutie mark is about. <laughs> I don't even know what my cutie mark is about. Not me. Oh, well, that sounds... <laughs> what the? Oh, Trixie, oh no. The great and powerful Trixie! The show stopping magician performing live tonight in Ponyville. Come on, come all to the Ponyville Town Hall at 6 p.m. Be prepared to be stunned by the most amazing feats of amazing feats of magic ever witnessed by pony eyes. Poster must have been blowing blowing down the street. Guess that's the one. Guess that. Uh, guess that's the cloud chaser was talking about. Tonight at 6 p.m., Trixie will be performing at Town Hall. She can't. What? Does she really think any pony in all of Ponyville would go see your show? All she's going to do is sit there and tell every pony how much better she is than them. I can't believe she actually should wear face in town again. Though, maybe she's learned her lesson. Huh? Is that something I should know about this? Is there something I should know about this Trixie character? Trixie is a unicorn. Like me. Her special talent is magic. She showed up a while ago and started bragging about her magical talents. The only thing she really did was...